Good morning! Welcome to another video and in this video I want to share with you some of the structures that I do to help me do the splits. As a kid I used to do gymnastics and I used to do ballet and I could never ever do the splits. I was the least flexible child. In fact, I actually got kicked out of gymnastics for just being too terrible. I remember my gymnastics teacher used to stand on my back to try and get my chest to be flat to the floor in the splits and I could never do it, I cannot do a bridge, I was literally... <laughs> this was like me when I was young. So what changed? How did I get more flexible? Well actually the biggest change was just being less abusive to my body. When I used to do gymnastics and ballet, stretching was all about forcing yourself into that position. When I stopped doing those things, and I turned like, I'd say, I'd say about 19, 20, and I started doing yoga, then my body got so much more flexible just naturally. And what I mean by that is yoga is all about doing what your body is able to do, not forcing anything, just letting things come naturally. So I find with stretching, for me what works is to feel a stretch but not push any further. Breathe into this muscle and the stretch that you're feeling and then allow your body to just create more space to go deeper into that stretch. And then the next day when you come back to stretch again or wherever you come back to stretch again, you'll find that you'll be able to go deeper into that stretch. And each time we'll go deeper and deeper until you're in the splits. So without further ado, let me show you what I do every morning after I work out to stretch and to stay supple and to be able to do the splits. <laughs> please make sure to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button because I would really love to have you as part of the family. First of all I'm just gonna start in a frog position and just gently bounce my knees to the floor and I just hold my toes gently but you could just rest your arms or put them behind you sometimes that helps to push your legs to the floor and then I find I can get them further. Just a couple of bounces and then we're going to go into straddle. So take your feet out just as wide as they go. It doesn't matter if you're here or if you're wider. It doesn't matter at all. I'm just going to gently stretch to each side and then in a little circle. Just to feel into my body. Feel where it feels tight. And then I'm going to reach up tilt and stretch over and try and with my hand touch my toes and get my head to my knee and take deep breaths into the stretch and then I'm going to turn and get my nose to my neck this way. when you press out you'll probably be here and that's totally fine Whatever feels good for you. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So big breath in, stretch up, and exhale and fold over. Trying to get a hold of that foot. make sure that you keep breathing. Sounds really obvious but whenever you go into a stretch or exercise a lot of people tend to just hold their breath but it really helps to breathe because every time you exhale you usually get deeper into the stretch and relax. And if you can we're going to walk forward. Try to keep your back nice and straight. Just see how far down you can go. Take your hands to the side. And if you're particularly flexible, then you might be able to push right through into Cobra. The next thing we're going to do is just continue stretching. I'm going to take these socks off because they will not stay on. Continue stretching our inner thighs and really opening them up. I'm just going to use my elbow to gently push against my knee to push it back and open up here. I'm 
and all these moves so far are really going to help you get into middle splits and they're also going to help just with leg flexibility in general. So again, just pushing back. And those moves are really going to help you get into middle splits. The stretches I really love to do for getting into the side split are a lot of lunge moves. So we're going to start in a lunge position and we're just going to gently dip into it. actually helps to tuck your pelvis this way and then push and you feel much more of a stretch here and then I'm going to take my hands side my foot to the floor I'm going to lift up into a lunge and then I'm going to tilt to the side So you notice a lot of the stretches that I do are very much yoga focused because I just find that yoga is the thing that has really improved my flexibility. It's also just a really lovely way to stretch after a stressful day or an intense workout. I also just find that it helps to move forward and backward or side to side or little circles because it really helps me feel where it's tightening my muscle and loosen it up. Then if you can, lower to the floor. And again, pull up, forward, back, side to side, circles. And then sometimes it feels good to just gently push on the knee. Really gently, we're not going to hurt the knee or anything. I'm going to reach back to my foot and try and get my foot to my butt. Breathe into that. This is again, you can really feel it here. And I'm just going to stretch that out. And I'm going to go into, I think it's called the runner stretch. Feel this in the back of your legs, so try and get your nose to your leg, keeping your back nice and straight. You're much better off doing this than being here than going like this. That's not really going to achieve anything in the long term. Can I see if I get to take it up and stretch here? and do exactly the same thing. And again, taking it to the side. This also feels really nice in the back. It's a really great thing to do in the mornings to wake you up. And again, if you can, lower to the floor. Then do. It's all about what feels good for your body. I think genetics also play a role in how flexible you are. Absolutely no one in my family is flexible and we all have really bad backs and really crooked joints. So like even now I still can't really do a bridge very well. I feel if I pull my foot up, I can feel a deeper stretch in my calf as well. But as I lean forward, there's more of a pain in my ankle, so that just feels good for me. And I find it helps to reach back. I just feel the deeper stretch that way. Those are things that I do pretty much every day and also sometimes just practicing splits in different ways so rather than just on the floor sometimes I stand up and I stretch or I practice lifting my leg this way or lying on the floor stretching this way 
I breathe in for it. I'm bouncing for that. I breathe in. Now they breathe out. I take the legs in, so I breathe in. Breathe out, take the legs in. It can also be really helpful to practice stretching in the doorway. Some people find it really helps to ponche. A lot of ballerinas do it. When you're on the floor and you're in your best fit, and you're just taking your foot up and down, up, down. You try to get into that split, down. And before you know it, you'll be able to do splits in any way, anywhere. I really hope that you found that video helpful. I hope that it helps you get more flexible. Not that being flexible is the be all and end all because there are so many people who are incredible athletes who are so fit and so inspiring and they can't even touch their toes. So it really doesn't matter. It might just be something that you want to do, but it's a pretty cool party trick to have, I guess. Just to be able to walk along and then boom. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you know when I post a new video, which is every single Friday. Hope you feel nice and warm and limber and ready for whatever it is that you're gonna tackle today. Have a wonderful day. Bye!